Our case study was based on a true story about a young girl named Amanda Todd. Amanda Todd was cyberbullied after being relentlessly harassed. She committed suicide in 2012. Based on this case study, we aim to create an intervention that brings children, parents, and professionals together to bring education on the effects of cyberbullying and appropriate solutions to overcome the issues associated with cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is not limited to when the bully can commit the act. He or she is not restricted to space or time, and the harassment can be committed anywhere and anytime. Victims of cyberbullying are subjected to lose a sense of privacy, insecurity, and that turns to affect their self-esteem and confidence. Victims may also experience fear, anxiety, and depression and suicidal thoughts. This video will introduce a biopsychosocial intervention approach to help diminish cyberbullying. Cyberbullies have a lot of difficulty forming positive relationships with their peers and have difficulties in school because they have problems with self-regulating. They often can't empathize with other people and don't really think about how their actions will hurt a person's feelings on the internet. Because cyberbullies have low emotional intelligence, they feel less guilty for their actions and continue this type of behavior out of the thrill and excitement they feel from it. Cyberbullies hold a lot of aggression inside from being bullied themselves, so they think that when they get, go online and are unable to see the reactions of others, they can get revenge. These individuals often have poor social relationships in person, so they like the fact that they can be aggressive in the cyberbully world without needing to have physical strength or social group to back them up. It is therefore very important for parents to monitor their children's behaviors, especially when they are showing any of these biological signs. If parents are more aware of cyberbullying and how it affects others, they can help their child self-regulate their emotions so that the risk of them cyberbullying can be eliminated. The individuals involved with cyberbullying are the bully, the victim, the bystander, and the victim bully. If bullying goes unnoticed, there are psychological as well as emotional dysregulation that come along with the cyberbullying. Typical changes in emotions after being cyberbullied for the victim exist, such as 32% reported higher stress levels, 31% reported being upset much easier or more frequently, 19% felt scared, and 18% felt embarrassed. In recent years, there has been a rise of suicides as a result of cyberbullying. Psychological effects for the bully are lack of empathy, emotional dysregulation, and often bullies get a thrill out of committing these acts. This can lead to cyberstalking. It is crucial for the victims or bystanders to report the cyberbullying to a trusted adult before these problems persist and long-lasting psychological effects are present. As well as reporting the situations, it is crucial for adults to be informed of the psychological effects that come with cyberbullying so they're able to prevent, recognize, and intervene with these cyberbullying situations. Did you know that the majority of youth report handling cyberbullying by removing themselves from certain websites or blocking the person? Studies show that only 12% of cyberbullying situations are actually handled by parents because most youth try to solve the issues themselves. These results led us to believe that parents should play a larger role in solving cyberbullying issues. It is important for parents to provide an open environment where their child feels comfortable enough to tell them about any issues they may be having online. Children should always be able to confide in their parents about cyberbullying. However, if children confide in their parents, parents must be educated on the effects of cyberbullying. From this, our new intervention provides parents with a way to partner with both children and teachers to come up with appropriate solutions to any cyberbullying issues and to receive training alongside educators to learn what preventative measures they could take. With the rapid growth of technological advances and technological use, young people are prone to engaging in destructive behaviors towards others by hurting and embarrassing others. As a society, parents, teachers, and stakeholders, and young people should be involved in the process of preventing cyberbullying behaviors. This is a collaborative process that the society as a whole should contribute in. As a result of the findings, it is clear that there is a need for the different generation gaps to work together to come up with prevention strategies and solutions for cyberbullying, with the children's and youth and knowledge of technology and adults' knowledge of dealing with different life situations. Working together, they will begin to be able to come up with the prevention strategies and solutions for cyberbullying. This video will be shown in the beginning of the school year and can be accessible to parents and children during and after school hours.